Hey guys, happy Sunday. I decided to come on and make a video today because I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I ended up finding some things for Andrew at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure most of you have probably seen all this stuff, but um, I went to my local Dollar Tree. It's actually not my local Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar Tree that's about 10 miles from my house. I do have one closer um, that's like maybe two miles, but when I go to that Dollar Tree, there's never um, anything good. In my opinion, it is a lot smaller, and because it is so close to my area, it um, gets frequented a lot, and so their shelves aren't always replenished um, as often as they should be. When I went into the closest dollar store, Dollar Tree, <clears throat> excuse me, and looked, um, there was like a third of the baby stuff that the Dollar Tree 10 miles from my house had. So. I took the opportunity to go to the farthest away Dollar Tree today. <clears throat> so sorry, excuse me. And I ended up finding some things for Andrew. Um, I'll go ahead and show them because this is our Dollar Tree haul. He already had one of the All About Baby books and it was, I believe, All About Baby Playtime. And so I got him the All About Baby, Baby Face. So that is one of the things. It's a little book that can go in the bathtub or they can chew on it, so forth and so on. Um, the second one I got is All About Baby, oh sorry, All About Baby Snacks. So that was another one. I really like these books, they're cute. There is no words in them, it's just all pictures, so it's geared towards, you know, small kids. And then, um, as you all know, Andrew already has the Elmo rattle from the dollar store, so today they actually had the Cookie Monster rattle. So I got him the Cookie Monster rattle. And then, I only found two pacifiers. My intentions on going to the Dollar Tree today was to see if they had any boy Paw Patrol pacifiers because as you all know he already has one but I accidentally cut a little bit too much of the nipple off so it doesn't stay in his mouth very well. So I was hoping that my trip to the Dollar Tree today I would have been able to find another boy Paw Patrol pacifier but unfortunately they had one Paw Patrol pacifier and it was pink. It was for a girl. So I did not find what I was looking for. But I did find two other ones. This one is a pacifier and holder. The little holder kind of just looks like a clamshell. And then the pacifier has an elephant on it. So I did get that. And then the other pacifier I got was a blue one that has um, a monkey on it which I thought was cute too. And it is the Baby King brand. Um, you know this Baby King brand? Um, my Food for Less grocery store actually carries the Baby King brand also. Um, I had went there before to the grocery store to buy groceries and just went down the baby aisle curi you know, curiously to see what they carried. And they actually had the Baby King um, teething rings and things like that pacifiers and stuff so it but it was a lot more expensive because it was a grocery store so basically they carried the same thing from the dollar tree for a dollar but food max carried it and they wanted like a dollar 99 so it was almost double the price and it was the same exact brand and item that the dollar tree carried so if any of you have food maxes the next time you go in and you go down the baby aisle Take a look and I'm sure that you'll find the Baby King brand items. And the next thing I got, <clears throat> excuse me, was a water filled ice cream teether. I thought it was really cute. They had the round ring with the rattle in it that I already have for him. And then the only other thing to choose from was the ice cream cone. And then they had a octopus that had like a hard head and then like legs that were cut but hooked together. That was the part that you were supposed to teeth on. 
and I didn't care for it. I really liked the ice cream cone, so that is what I got. And then, down the baby aisle, I found Angel of Mine Baby Room Air Freshener. And I actually bought two bottles of this. And basically, it is baby powder scent. And it smells really, really, really good, but you have to be very careful about how much you spray because it can be overpowering. Um, I've experienced that before with other air fresheners, um, even Glade and Airwick. Um, certain, certain fragrances, if you spray too much, it will basically choke you out. Well, this air freshener is the exact same thing. Um, it is baby powder scent, so you have to watch how much you spray because if you spray too much, it will kind of choke you. Um, just spray in a well-ventilated area. That's, that, that is my, um, my recommendation for you all if you ever get that spray. And then the very last thing I got, <clears throat> excuse me, again, I am so sorry. I had been looking on Amazon at infant sunglasses because I wanted to get Andrew a pair of sunglasses that he could wear whenever it was real sunny outside or just to do videos with or so forth and so on. And, uh, you know, the like I had told you guys before in my other video, the Paw Patrol glasses that I saw at Walmart were way too big. They did say juvenile, but I believe it was for ages 3 plus. And they just looked way too big. So I'm like, no. And then the ones on Amazon were the exact same thing, the Paw Patrol. But they did have infant sunglasses that were for 0 to 12 months, but they wanted like $15 for them. I was thinking about ordering a pair. I'm not quite sure yet. I still might. I don't know. But today, whenever we went to the dollar store, even though these say kids' sunglasses ages three plus they looked a lot smaller in my opinion they look like infant sunglasses so i bought a pair because hey for a dollar i'm gonna try them these are the sunglasses and if you look at them on camera in my opinion they look bigger than they do in person in person they look very small they look like infant sunglasses, like zero to 12 months. Even though it says kids sunglasses three plus, they look very, you know, they look small. See? So anyway, for a dollar, I got the gray ones and we are going to try those. So he will probably be wearing those in a future video. Um, as you can see, he has his blanket. It is late here. It is 7.30. Um, it's not super late. We just got done with dinner. It is 7.30 p.m., 7.38 p.m. to be exact. I have Andrew in his Minion pajamas. He has his blanket. He's getting tired, so I decided to go ahead and come on and do this haul video for you guys real quick before I put him to bed. He wanted to come on and say he hoped everyone had a good Sunday, and I do as well. Tomorrow is the start of a new week. I hope everyone has a great week coming up. Um, it is actually supposed to cool down a tad here. Instead of being in the hundreds, it is only supposed to be in the high 90s, uh, 98, 99, something like that, maybe even 97. So it will be better than being 105, 107. So I am looking forward to that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a shout out video today since I'm uploading this video. I'll save shout out for maybe during the week. Um, I've been watching videos, catching up on them, and I'll have to pick a few people that I wanna shout out. So I'll probably do that during the week. But for now, we just wanted to come on and say hi and share all the goodies that we got today from the Dollar Tree. So we are going to go ahead and end it here. We all hope you had a great weekend. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, Andrew and I will see you when we see you. Bye, guys.